Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 25th of January 2019 and the time has just gone 12.01 GMT. Uh, this week's Chart of the Week is the MIB, the Italian market, um, or the Italy 40 as we call it on our platform. And we'll start off by looking at the, chart, at the, at the, at the market on a weekly chart. So as we can see here, um, between May and December, there was a fairly solid sell-off uh, on the Italian market. Uh, nice series of lower lows and lower highs. A classic example of a downward trend. But as we can see here with the MIB and also Europe, European, um, Asian and also US equity markets, we, have, we did see a bounce back um, in late December. And if you take a look at this candle here, um, um, you, you can see here that has got a very long wick, and that suggests indecision. Then the next candle over is a classic example of a bullish engulfing. And then, even though we haven't finished this week, it looks like we're going to have uh, four weeks in a row of positive gains on the FTSE MIB. So that's quite, that, that's quite a. Um, we appear to be re regaining some of the ground that has been lost um, over to, throughout the back end of 2018. Uh, taking a look um, at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see there's a steady increase in positive momentum. So as the market's pushing higher, we can see that that is being confirmed by the steady increase in, in positive momentum. Taking a look at the market on a daily chart, uh, we can see here that the level reached today just about took out the highs of uh, the middle of January. So, so today we've managed to just eke out a three-month high on the MIB. So once again, it gives an indication of how well the market is doing. Uh, we're just uh, reaching multi-month highs. And if you look, uh, as we know from Dow theory, the indices or the averages must confirm each other. So the MIB has, uh, has just managed to eke out a three-month high, where, whereas, the, whereas the, the DAX, the CAC, and the IBEX have all racked up roughly kind of seven-week highs. Uh, so the major, Euro, major Eurozone indices are all moving in, in the same direction, so we can become more confident uh, that, that the recent positive move in the MIB is going to continue. And part of the reason why major Eurozone indices have been doing uh, well today and also in, the, in recent weeks uh, is because of the European Central Bank's update yesterday. It was a little on, on the double side, uh, and that's why the, 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 the Euro-denominated and the Eurozone uh, indices have, have been pushing higher. So if the MIB does continue to push on higher from these levels, uh, we could look at targeting the psychologically important 20,000 and then further in the kind of more medium term, if the market does manage to kind of keep pushing on from the lows of December, we could be looking at heading up towards this red line here, the 200 day moving average, which comes into play uh, just shy of 20,900. But um, there, we can't ignore the kind of wider downward trend that the MIB has been in, and that ties in with the wider downward trend, trend uh, that U.S. equities have been in after the last number of months. So if the market does manage to turn over on itself again, we could find support coming into play from this blue line here, uh, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 18,990. We can see here in recent weeks and months that the 50-day moving average acts as both resistance um, in in, in December and also as support in January. And if the metric has acted as both you know, both support and or resistance in recent weeks and months, it makes it more likely that it will do in the near term. And if you do have a sizable break below um, the 50 day moving average, we could look at retesting the December lows in around the 17,915 area. If you are going to be trading the VIP, uh, please, please note that next week on Thursday, we have both Euro uh, Italian uh, unemployment and also growth figures as well as Eurozone as a whole growth figures. Uh, and one last thing before I go, if you have any comments to make in this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.